This video is brought to you by PortraitMode.io. PortraitMode is a platform for street photographers where you can upload your photos, build your portfolio and showcase your work. The website is free and among all submissions, the best photos will be featured on the website's homepage. Portrait Mode is a passion project of mine and you can find out more and sign up for free at the link below in the video description. Okay, so shooting on older digital cameras has become somewhat of a new trend and I wanted to see what I can do with these cameras, you know, going out and do some street photography with it. Some people say that this is as close as you will get to actual film photography, probably due to the lower megapixel count and these older sensors. But to me at least it brings back some nostalgia. So if you have one of these older digital cameras at home or maybe your parents, make sure to not get rid of them because this actually might become your next everyday carry. What I personally love about it is the small form factor, the image quality that you get out of the camera, and the fact that you can, you know, operate it with one hand. It's kind of similar to the GR series of cameras, but of course, you know, having an older camera, an older sensor, and kind of that nostalgia when it comes to the image quality. So as I said, I picked up three cameras total and I will go into more detail on each uh, during the POV. If you are shooting on older digital cameras, please let me know down below in the comments which model you're shooting with. There's also a Discord channel that I linked down below. There's basically an entire community of uh, people shooting these older digital cameras. So make sure to check that out if you're on Discord. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. But I will keep it short and sweet for the intro. I hope you enjoy this POV and I will see you at the end of the video. Okay, so right here we are looking at the Ricoh Caplio R1. This camera was introduced in September 2004. It only has 4.2 megapixel and it is probably my favorite out of the bunch. And right here you can see why I really love the color signs of this camera and yeah, it kind of gives me that film vibe. Okay, so up next is the Olympus FE-170. This camera came out in August 2006 and only has 6.2 megapixels. I've also been really impressed by the color of the camera and it certainly has a very specific look to it. I could actually only take around about eight photos with this camera because I had to rely on the internal storage as this camera didn't come with any SD card when I bought it off eBay. I also want to highlight that I didn't put any crazy edits on these photos. I only adjusted the white balance if necessary and added some contrast to the image. Right here I'm waiting for someone to come from here towards me so they can fill up the light area there. Thank you. 
Okay, so right here we have the Canon PowerShot A2400IS. This is by far the newest camera out of the bunch and it actually comes with a whopping 16 megapixel. The camera came out in March 2012 and it's actually quite a modern camera even by today's standards. Tune in. Tune in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little street photography POV and I gotta say the Rico Caplio R1 is my new everyday carry. There is just something about this camera and I really enjoy the pictures that come out of this. To me, they really do have that little bit of a film-like look. I actually picked up the Olympus and the Ricoh for, I think, 25 bucks. To my surprise, the Olympus actually didn't come with any card and I didn't read that when I picked up the camera off eBay. So I had to actually buy another card to get my hands on an XD picture card, which is this one right here. It didn't make much sense to buy these cards separately because I think they go on eBay for around about 30 bucks. And that is why I've picked up another camera, which is the Fujifilm Finepix F30, which actually came with a two gigabyte card. As I said earlier, if you or someone in your family has an older digital camera, make sure to grab it and have fun with it. Of course, operating and taking photos on these cameras will be a lot slower compared to say like a Ricoh GR3 for instance, but that also kind of adds to the actual experience, at least in my opinion. What I would suggest is get a camera between four to eight megapixel to get that kind of, you know, nostalgia. But anyways, I think that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. If you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know down below in the comments. And also I would love to hear what older digital cameras you can recommend. So let's have a discussion down in the comments below. Again, the link to the Discord channel that I mentioned is also down below in the video description. Well, thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Thank you.